Everybody. Welcome back. Uh, hope you're having a great week. Happy belated Father's Day to all of my viewers who are fathers. And sorry for my slight absence. I kind of took a mini vacation with my wife to visit my in-laws. And though I didn't have a lot of time to make videos, I did have quite a few chances to get some great footage that I cannot wait to share with you in videos to come. But today's episode is brought to you by request. I had a viewer reach out and ask how he could go about making transitions in LumaFusion. Now, Luckily, this is a very simple process. That's what I love most about LumaFusion is it's very user friendly and it's very easy to learn. So once you have all of your footage compiled and in the order that you like, you're going to go up to the folder tab, click on it and go all the way to the bottom where it says transitions. Click on that and you have about 31 transitions to choose from in this menu uh, with variety, wipes, slides and pushes. Now these are all good. Um, I'm not a huge fan of transitions myself. I either like to do those by myself in camera or just when you get good at filming and you honor the 30 degree rule, you don't really need to worry about transitions because all of your cuts will look professional and seamless. But if you are a fan of transitions, this couldn't be easier. Now I have a dip at the beginning. It just makes it look a little more smooth. You'll see. Yep, it just goes right into it. It's not a jolt, it's kind of just a gradual just... Boom. Oh, it's not wanting to scrub. There we go. Now, say at the first cut, we don't want that rough cut. Since it goes to the left, what I found works best is like a wipe left. Go in the direction that the camera is going. It just looks smoother and it's not as jarring. So let's play that. See, that looks pretty good. I mean, not even being a fan of transitions, that looks pretty darn good. And the cool thing about this is you can hit these arrows. You can shorten the transition or you can make it as long as you like. Um, I find that by default, one second usually works great. Um, and even 30 seconds, I'm sorry, uh, half a second works great too. Um, anything more or less than that is kind of, I mean, it works, but it's just, it's not what I like to see. So let's go to the next cut really quick. Okay. So maybe since it lowers in altitude and goes to the left, we'll do a wipe down left and we'll try that. That night, that looks nice. Okay. So we'll keep that. The next one is an overhead. Um, right here, I don't even think I'd use one, honestly. You don't, just because you have the tools doesn't mean you have to use them. So some shots, you won't need a transition. Um, and plus, if you do it for every single cut, it's gonna get old hat pretty quick. So we'll leave that one. And the next one is a revolving shot. That's a cutaway, so that's kind of like a transition in itself. So we'll leave that alone. And the next one is a speed ramp that I did. Honestly, I don't think I'd add any more. And then, yeah, see, it's really simple. And if you don't like any of these, you like I said, you can do it in camera um, by doing quick whip pans, either to the left, to the right, up or down. And you can just create your own and most of the time it'll come out better because you know exactly what you want. If you purchase packs from other people, they're giving you what they think you want. And it's not going to be exactly what you want most of the time. And there are a lot of scams out there. You got to be careful. And most of the time you can't try them before you buy them. So I'm not a fan of doing that myself. <laughs> so I just like to, you know, plan out my shots, honor the 30 degree rule and not even rely on transitions. And if, and if I want to use transitions, the ones in LumaFusion are good enough for me. But that's basically it. It's very straightforward. I hope this helps, Charlie. 
And um, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Oh,